All right, so after dealing with a bunch of problems and delays, we're finally on our way on this uh, southwestern trip. We're uh, heading out to Texas for spring break. We're gonna visit some of my family there. But uh, today we're going from Los Angeles to Phoenix and driving through Palm Springs here. Look at all these windmills, this is crazy. We're gonna stop and uh, visit my aunt and then um, we'll see what tomorrow brings us. I decided it was time to stop for a little coffee break. Grab some McDonald's coffee. Oh, McDonald's has some nice coffee. It's always very, uh, I love my it's always very uh, consistent. It's always a very consistent coffee. But we uh, we made it to Blythe, so we're right at the border. We're gonna cross over the Colorado River and uh, head into Arizona now. Head on to our destination. So here's the good old van. Okay. Let's look in your yeah. ear. <laughs> no, it's a camera. It's a camera. Yeah, I use it. For, I use it for my vlogging stuff. Oh, do you? Huh. So we've arrived in Arizona, <laughs> we're at my aunt's house, and we're uh, getting ready for beds, setting up all the air beds and everything. Had a yummy dinner. But we're going to call it a night, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Alright, so we're in the next morning here. Gotten up. Savannah is doing her distance learning. Dad's keeping from me over from here. Mine. And Madison's got to do a little bit of hers before we uh, hit the road later today. I'm taking a look at some of the footage from yesterday. It's kind of uh, interesting. Check out these tortoises. It's a tortoise butt. Alright, so uh, it's a pleasant uh, sunny morning here in Goodyear, Arizona. And uh, just getting out, loading the car up. And we're gonna have a good, like, probably eight and a half hour drive today. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a long day. Hopefully it goes by pretty smooth and we get to see a lot of fun stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing the landscapes going across uh, the rest of Arizona and in New Mexico. Um, I know we're going to enter Texas too in El Paso and then head up into uh, Carlsbad area. So it's going to be an interesting day. Looking forward to it. But uh, I think we need to stop and get some supplies. So. so we found all this airplane storage. This is really weird. It's like all these airliners and they're all in storage. Yeah, it is kind of strange. Huh? Yeah, there's that one. I guess that'll work. <laughs> what would a trip be without getting a little Starbucks? Um, I got a strawberry cappuccino with cookie crumble. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Cookie what did you put on your tongue? We're tattooing. So we're driving along here and just look at this mountain. Isn't that interesting? It's got such a strange shape to it. Alright, so somewhere in the middle of Arizona, I have no idea where we are, but I did uh, make a little peanut butter and jelly bagel and some chips and having a little lunch before we get back on the road and head towards New get Mexico. Get off my bagel! quick stop at the uh, rest area here. We're in Texas Canyon. This is uh, kind of the eastern edge of Arizona. It's a little chilly. Um, 
It says it's 61. It feels more like it's 50. I'm uh, it's getting really cold, and I'm wearing shorts on a t-shirt. So I gotta say, I'm really digging the Pacifica, and it's uh, it's a really smooth car. And when you're driving it on the highway, you can get going 80 miles per hour. It barely feels like anything. It just cruises. It just cuts to the wind, cruises, and I'm getting like 28 to 30 miles per gallon in this thing on the highway. So um, kind of crazy coming from like a Honda CRV that I had before, and it was getting like. Get 20 on a good day on the highway. You might hit 25, but rarely anything higher than that. And rarely that. It's really nice having a car with this um, car play on it. It really uh, comes in handy when you're driving around. Did you not fart on uh, the maps and music and everything all right there. So we're like 10 minutes or so away from the border of New Mexico. We've been going along with this thing for like 10 minutes or more. And it's been hauling butt. It's been going like 75 miles per hour, so. It looks like it's slowing down because it's hitting a grade. So. Another thing I like looking at is the different architecture the rest area is quite fascinating. Definitely have that southwest field on. So wait, what happened? I flushed the toilet and a rat ran out from under <laughs> the toilet. A rat ran out from under the toilet? It was like this big and it was hairy. What? Are you sure it was a rat, not an armadillo? I don't know what it was. <laughs> I think it was a rat. finally made it to our hotel room. It is now almost 2 a.m. and uh, we're exhausted. It's been like 12 hours on the road driving today, so really long time. But uh, we're gonna get a good night's sleep. It's uh, nothing fancy here, just a I kinda like it. standard motel. But uh, tomorrow we'll see what adventures we wait. What's wrong? You can get your shoe done, okay? Yeah. Sorry, I'll get it. I'll do it. Here, here, you hold the camera. Are you calling yourself? <laughs> oh, I don't need it on me. You can put it on you. It is uh, Tuesday morning and it is sunny here in New Mexico. Wow. Really Check that out. Yeah, nice and sunny. It's a little chilly. It's uh. It's around 46 degrees right now, but it's gonna warm up. So uh, here is New Mexico. It's a very pretty landscape, but definitely different than California or Arizona. So since we got in so late last night, um, we really needed to get enough sleep. Uh, at least I did, in order to be able to drive today. Um, we're trying to head over to the Carlsbad Caverns right now, but it's already like 9.30. So we gotta see if we're able to get in or not. This is the road up to Carlsbad Caverns. Pretty interesting place, and I remember coming here with my dad when I was like seven or eight years old, too. So, um, maybe 
I was younger than that. I don't know, but it was fun. It was really cool because we spent a couple days here and I explored a bunch of the caves. They've reached maximum capacity for the day, so unfortunately we won't be able to go in. But um, it sounds like it's really busy today. So people were talking in the line here about how you would have had to have been here at like 4.30 a.m. just to get a spot. Really kind of crazy. So, you know, maybe next time. <laughs> That's funny. There's stalactites in the ceiling. You see that? <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. And then this one is that. Uh, that's cool. It's too bad we didn't go inside though. I just thought this little bat. A little bat. That's some rock candy. Yeah. It's kind of funny. They have no problem packing the gift shop. Hmm. This right here, this is the caves. This is a map of the caves. Yeah, so this is what it looks like from above. If you cut the ground off. Um, Isn't that where we are? Yes, that's where we are, up in that building. And that's the elevator going down. This goes down 800 feet. Just finished up at the caverns. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make it inside, but uh, they had no problem letting a million people into the gift shop to spend a ton of money. They just, didn't, they just had a problem with people being underground together, I guess. So, whatever. That's life. Uh, in normal times, you'd just be able to show up, and uh, as long as you're before the cutoff time, you can get in. But uh, hey, you know, that's, that's the pandemic for you, so. Of New Mexico here seems to be a lot of nothingness. Just a lot of grassland shrub stuff. And driving through, there seems to be a lot of oil, a lot of oil production out here. So looks like they're building some kind of pipeline. And um, they got a lot of like oil pumps around here and stuff. There's a helicopter over there. That's, looks like it's getting ready to take off. How oh, interesting. Wow, the things that you end up seeing when you're in small towns. So uh, we just stopped in Seminole, Texas. Got some gas. Stretched out the legs for a little bit. Got a couple of refreshments. And uh, now we're back on our way. Gonna head across to uh, western Texas here and um, see how long it takes us to get over to the Dallas Fort Worth area. Don't play with dead snakes, Madison. Why would you play with Why a dead snake? Why would you want anyways? to play with a dead snake though? Like, <laughs> what? Why? Stay away from tall grass. Well, don't tell me that. I'm gonna walk into it. So this is the Ford dealer. So this is where you go to get your pickup truck. Because in Texas, everyone drives a pickup truck. So we're on the road to Abilene and there's all these windmills. Look, it's a Texas tumbleweed going by in this gas station. What you got? Sour patch. Sour patch? And watermelon. Wow, you love that candy, don't you? So we're uh, at a gas station, stretching the legs, using the restroom for the 14,000th time. And uh, we're in the town of Snyder. 
which is big for out here, but a little tiny town. Well, we're used to it. Did I win a prize? What? I don't know. It's on the... I did. I won a prize. How did you win a prize? I don't know. It's like Pokemon Go, but you drive your car. Hmm. Does, does anybody know what this is about? This prize thing? I, I rarely ever use Waze, so... What is this? What is the deal here? Hi! <laughs> Pretend you're gonna get me. Ah! 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 No, no, she didn't have me to see it. Hi. What's that? It's a camera. The hack? Yeah. What? That doesn't look like a camera. That's um, not a camera. Hello. Hi. It looks like Wally. That's uh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Ready? Set. Yeah. Cheese. Are you guys excited to see us? Yeah. Yeah? Sing for a few days. The, 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 yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've arrived at my brother's house now. And uh, getting settled in. Had a little bit of a fight. And uh, just hanging out here. We need to unpack it, set up, and be here for the next week. So. There's a deer, a wild boar. Normandillo. Yeah, you know, my brother, he's a professional chef. No, actually, this is skunk. He's a professional chef, and he can make a, a gourmet meal out of anything, including roadkill. Including my brother. Once including I drown him in the crocodile mile. And then <laughs> drown him in the... Okay, so, we're not going to talk about this. If you want this. ice cream. How do you put up with him? I know, I'm not saying it. I don't know what it is. You just laugh at everything. You just laugh at everything he does. I'm paying it in this one. No, I'm just kidding. He's a good guy. <laughs> you know that. You didn't know him 20 years ago. I'm thankful I did. Damn. You were just listening to that song before we pulled up to your house. What is wrong with you? Or what about the other one? Uh, um. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah, hop on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Madison. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, you want to see my bicycle? <laughs> I can ride my bike with no handlebars. <laughs> Sleeping in my niece's bedroom. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But um, right now we're on a severe thunderstorm watch, so... Uh, pretty common for over here, but for us California people, it's a little, a little scary. But uh, so far, it's been really clear. Just some wind. Anyways, we're gonna try and get some uh, sleep here, and then explore around uh, this area tomorrow. So we'll see you then. So it's about 5 a.m. and. Uh, the thunderstorms are finally hitting now. Um, everyone's asleep, but woke me up. It's kind of crazy sounding, but I'm checking the weather maps and it looks like it's just going to avoid us by a little bit. Um, but there's a bunch of hail expected, uh, about nickel sized. So kind of interesting. Um, Hopefully it doesn't damage anything too bad, or like the cars or any of that kind of stuff. I guess we'll find out in the morning. Um, as long as it doesn't hit us too bad, that's, uh, you know, glad for that. I guess this is a pretty common thing here, so not too worried, but uh, just checking the uh, warnings issued from the uh, local agencies, make sure everything's okay. But uh, just gonna ride it out. <laughs> 